take that, thank you. Sure, thank you. Uh, keep the hanger, my friend. How much is that one, mate? Pound, mate. I think I'll take it for a pound. Okay. Safe dancing around. Yes. Thank Appreciate it, thank you. Cheers. How many um, Disney ones do you have? Uh, I know you're unpacking, let me to be, let me to be that guy. Uh, one, two, three. That's not one. That's not one. That's one. Four, That's one. five. For about five, yeah, five Disneys. How much for those? No. I don't, I don't know how much they were. Is a pound for them? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, mate. Oh, Thank you very much, I appreciate that. So Have a good one, mate. How much is that one? You can have it for you can have it for six quid. You say you say six because you know I'm gonna say a five, don't you? <laughs> six fifty. Did you have a clothes wrap? I did. Are I need help. I need somebody to help me because it's just uh, all okay. a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the boxes here. The instructions are in there. I've not. I've not used it. Would you do a fire on it? I would. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Do you have, do you have a with this? Master of Pieces. Excuse me. Excuse me. You take three for your reason? Yeah, go on. Thank you. Oh, how much is that, mate? Um, three quid. Would you take two? I'll take two, yeah. Thank you, my friend. They're a pound for all of them. I just want to get rid of them. They sort of know. For 40 years. It's a short TV, mate. Yeah, 20. Uh, How much is the old telly, mate? Five of them. No, they're, they're brand new. Do you know if you can run the old games off? I'm sure you can, can't you? <laughs> yeah, sorry. That's okay, let me have a quick, quick search, I'll find out. Take any less on it? Four. Can I pay you and leave it here for a minute? Is that alright? <laughs> How much is the jacket? Uh, 25. 25, yeah? Thank you. Yeah, you got anything good? Nothing to do with nice clothing, mate. Nothing, nothing great. Loads of people here asking it's for games as well. We don't like asking because, no. like, you just feel. Yeah. No, I think you can. I think you can definitely ask the question. Yeah. I, I know what you mean. When you see people sort of diving in, when they're getting bags out and going. Uh, yeah, yeah. But asking the question, man. Ask the question. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Um, where have you been? Going down the front first ones, and we went down that end one. Yeah. But got a sealed copy of Final Fantasy VII on the table. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. A pound for a pair. How much are the PS3 games? Five pounds. Oh, is it there? Yeah, yeah sorry. Sorry, ignore me. Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, is that awesome? Yeah. You, how, how much just for one? Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll work it out. Yeah, mate. 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 Yeah, mate.
Don't ask me, I wouldn't even know what to do. It'll be a pain, sorry mate. No, that's alright. Lovely cheers, dude. Come to grab the telly, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate you holding it for me. Too many buyers, not enough sellers. It's a bit cool for you bits, but nothing. Nothing special at all. That wasn't very successful, so I'm gonna go take the two hour round trip to the indoor car boot and see how that gets on because I don't feel like I've got much today. I've got some bits, but it gives me plenty of time to charge the GoPro and uh, get some more footage. I'll see you there. How much are you asking for the box unit? The Pioneer, the two Pioneer boxes. Oh, 20. Do you mind if I have a look in the box? No. Is that right? Probably going to be the last. How much are the games, man? They're three pound each. And this one? Oh, they're all three pound each. Yeah. Just take five. Five, yeah. Thank you. We're outdoors, man. How much are the books? This set? Uh... Pretty crazy, then, man. Pretty How much on these two for me, mate? Oh, two pound each, everything on the rail. Good Take these two then, please, mate. Yep. Okay. So we're back. Went to two car boots today. Picked up some big stuff and um, a lot of fodder, a few fails, and some inspired by pieces. So let me turn you around and show you exactly what we got. I think we'll start on this side just here. So starting off, we've got the Polaroid Impulse Portrait. Um, I paid five pounds. Annoyingly, it does have a bit of a shutter sticking issue. See that? Um, got the original receipt from 1992, paid 60 pounds. It's actually worth about 40 in a working condition. I'll take a look at this and see what I can do. Standard portable speakers, Sanyo AS8s, paid a pound for those, a bit battered, but again, just an impulse but purchase that was. Got a uh, nice retro Seisho TV, and it actually does turn on, but the volume's a bit temperamental. So look into that. Oh, you wanted four pounds, so five pounds, I got an answer four, and then paid him five anyway for holding it, because I don't know why I did that actually. Uh, then we've got some Nike trainers. These are like indoor football-y ones. Paid £5 for those. I need to look onto them, but probably 15 20 back. Paid a pound for this radio. And when I opened it, it was absolutely smashed inside. The batteries all exploded. I need to look into that. But that was, that was a cool little pickup. Fail of the day. Paid £1.50 for this. It is battered. It is knackered. It is not worth anything, even in good condition. In fact... I'll put that in a bin later. Um, some bin bags, personal cop, because they were cheap. Picked up some VHSs uh, upon looking. This is a corker. Battered. Battered. So I'm having a bit of a failed day today, to be fair. 
These are okay. Can it scan and edit? I remember picking this up a few years ago. This used to be worth some good money. I can't remember. I don't know if it is anymore, but picked it up anyway. 50p. Disc is in good condition. No, 30p actually. Let's have it. Three pound for this set of Harry Potter five. Um, all in pretty good condition because they've been in here for so long there's not much tan to the pages i'm going to aim for about 30 quid maybe a bit more we'll see i'll do some research onto that um i also pick up today i uh, picked up this sony dvd player this is still sealed but it is sealed with sellotape so paid five pound and i told the guy i'll take a risk with it i will trust him looks like there's been some water damage here i'll open that with you we'll, we'll open that together Master of Pieces inspired pickup this time. Um, I saw him sell one of these a little while ago. I think I paid about three quid for this one. But he, well need, he may well be the master of pieces, but I am the master of broken pieces because it is damaged. I didn't see that. So I might get rid of this and sell the pieces separately. We'll have a look. Um, some charity shop stuff. Where's the rest of the... Car boot stuff. Okay, so I picked up oh, two Madonna 2006 tour t-shirts. Paid two quid each. They should do well, 15, maybe 20. Picked up a Hill Figure Athletics jumper. I think that was about £1.50 because I bought that with this Fat Farm polo. Fat Farm is a brand of the 90s, normally we're oversized and some of those sort of things. Picked up a 2015 Slipknot t-shirt. So nothing vintage, nothing too great, but still a cool t-shirt picked up this um always sunny in philadelphia film you ever seen that uh one of these tees this owes me a pound pick that up as well and this adidas jump i've never seen this before it is on the originals label i'm not too sure what that is i'm gonna do some research but that owes me i think i paid five pound for that and that together and that was a pound pick these up as well this is the pioneer combined radio cd and the speaker system i picked it up for two reasons the speaker system doesn't look like it's been ever out of its packaging. Um, this has a few marks on it, but inside this box just here, down here, was this Sony remote. Now this Sony remote on its own could command up to around 40 pound. However, keeping in uh, with the theme of the fails today, it's gonna take a lot of cleaning, a lot, a lot. I'm hoping the circuit board's okay. Um, but we're gonna, do, we're gonna need to do some work to get some money out of that. Well, that's not too bad actually. I could get that really clean. Nice. So there's forty quid there. So I paid twenty for these two. Um, looking online, I'll probably get anywhere between eighty to one hundred and twenty for the set. I'm obviously going to split them out if I can, and then the remote. So I'm looking at about one twenty, one sixty, maybe one eighty for my twenty pound investment. So I'm happy with that. Pick these up as well. With some Nike socks. These are football socks. I thought they was um just normal socks. I picked them up for myself, but I don't well I don't play football. So I'll probably sell those. They were two pounds fifty a pair. I know. So, oh I picked this I picked these up as well, sorry. Um fast food for the Amiga. This is on the Codemasters tag, that's why I brought it. And the Yu-Gi-Oh! World something something a world something edition. I've sold this before for like 19 quid. So I picked that up, but not too sure. I'll um, make sure that's all working. Yesterday I went to the charity shop, the one that I get store credit at for letting them use my garage. I'll run you through what I picked up there. So I picked up this, the Smiths, um, the Queen is Dead tea. I'm probably going to sell it because it doesn't really fit me very well, but it's got a lovely, nice, tight neck on that. Um, I didn't pay for any of this, what I'm saying now. This is all kind of free. Um, probably get about 10, 15 for that. I also picked up uh, 2006 Tour de France tea, a Hong Kong tea, vintage one, and another 2006 Tour de France tea. Picked up this Sony Easy Remote. Um, a vintage Pifco travel line. These just look really nice. I mean, look at that. How cool is that? Um, this Philips tape player, this is in working order. We tested it in the shop, nice vintage one. And a set of Sony surround speakers. Again, this cost me nothing. So it's all profit. Probably gonna get up to 20 for the speakers, maybe 15 for the iron, 30 for the tape player, 15 for the top, maybe a 10 for that. Not much for the Tour de France, probably bundle them together. 
and the Hong Kong. So maybe 15, 20 all in for that. Oh, and I picked up this camera as well. This can go for about 30 quid, the Olympus Super Zoom 70G. Let's get on to the DVD player, we'll do that together. All right, annoyingly, the GoPro has run out of battery, so we're gonna have to make do and do it like this. Okay, so this was five pound, still sealed, but I did say to the bloke, it's just sealed with sellotape, mate, so that could be could be a uh, Argos catalog in here. Hopefully it is, because Argos catalog's worth some money now. So together, we'll see if it was a, we'll see if it was a good thing to buy or not. Oh, it's looking good. But is it been water damaged? There's a lot of water damage on this box. Have the remote. Everything is still sealed. So I could still sell this as open, never used. Okay, we have the manuals. Some stand thing. Yeah, this is definitely brand new, but is it in good condition? Because, like I say, the box looks water damaged. Okay, it's all new. I can see remnants of scuffing or might just be box wear well see if it's okay worst case scenario is i'll probably get a tenner for the remote so we did we didn't do too bad quick update today is a massive massive fail um everything's either broken missing or just damaged so the speaker set that i picked up uh let me spin you around so the cone's all bashed in which is whatever i can probably get that out these look to be unused but i mean look at the state of the box i'm unsure now now i've seen the state of everything else um this needs a whole different unit to power it on and it smells like it just smells burnt so um i think that's going to be a fail can't test it There's no remote, because that remote was the one that was in it, that broken one. Um, where is it? This one? I don't know. Today's, I think today's a bit of a write-off. You know, 50 quid down the pan. I could salvage it, but it's not going to be fun. So uh, probably should have stayed in bed today. I mean, there's a speaker system on eBay in a lot worse condition than that. I sold for 60, so I'm going to make some money. But it's so annoying, isn't it? You rush around at car boots, you don't check properly, you have a quick look and... That's that's where I fail, that's my problem. So for now on, I'm gonna be digging deep. I'm checking every corner. Don't care how long it takes, don't care how much I have to pull out, don't care how much I have to put back, because I can't afford to keep buying things on a quick look, getting home, having a gamble, whether it works or not. <sighs> oh well. So I think that's it for today then. I'm going to get to work now, sifting through, cleaning up what I need to clean up and try and start getting it listed. So thanks ever so much for watching. You're all fantastic. You've been showing me some amazing support. If you're new here, don't forget, subscribe, hit the like button, ding the bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.